Governor Greg Gianforte is expressing his appreciation for some local firefighters who have been working all day to save lives and property after an early morning fire just south of Great Falls. This evening, the governor spent time touring damage caused by the Gibson Flats fire. As we've reported, 11 homes, 11 garages, seven outbuildings and multiple cars have been destroyed. The fire started in a field around 245 this morning, quickly getting out of control because of the wind and the cause is still under investigation. They did a Herculean job here at the Gibson Flat Fire today. Uh, this we thought fire season was over. It's been a long season. Uh, we did lose 11 residences, but it could have been so much worse. At a news conference this afternoon, Great Falls Fire Chief said it will likely be a while before residents in Gibson Flats are able to go back to their homes. Meanwhile, MTN's Coulter Anstat was on the scene of the fire this morning and has our report. As the wind howled in the pre-dawn hours Wednesday morning, power lines could be seen silhouetted by the orange glow of a raging wildland fire just south of Great Falls. We just got some phone calls and then the sheriff came and said to evacuate. Steve Bolin evacuated to Great Falls Central Catholic High School when it was set up as an evacuation center. We're up on the hill above everything, so we just looked out and saw it down below us and quite a bit of flames and there's a lot of smoke. As kids played basketball in the gym to pass the time, Red Cross and Salvation Army representatives were making sure they and everyone else had food and drinks and a place to sit and rest. We'll be working with our partners in the community and Red Cross especially uh, to make sure that we help those affected the best we can. Great Falls Central Catholic High School counselor Deacon Reverend Robert Ferguson says the school is prepared for situations just like this. We uh, are part of the disaster preparedness plan in Great Falls for this area and I received a phone call this morning from the Sheriff's Department asking us to open up. He said evacuees he talked to seem to be doing okay. Most of the people are taking this pretty well. They're, you know, they're hopeful that the fire department will be able to get this out. As daylight arrived and the wind continued to howl, smoke could be seen blowing across a large swath of burnt grass in a field. Despite the damage, everyone was thankful for the community response. This says everything about our community. This is one of the most giving and generous and supportive communities I've ever been a part of. This is a great community. Yeah, they've done a good job. And in Browning, a fire is now 90% contained, but it took a lot of teamwork from neighboring communities to get a handle on this one. MTN's Brianna Juno has more. A fire that broke out at around 3 a.m. has caused a community shutdown. Browning schools were closed due to a raging fire fueled by 80 mile per hour winds. Yeah, busy day. Glacier County has been dealing with winds reaching up to 100 miles per hour for the past week. Our winds were, well, I woke up to the winds at 100 miles an hour. The day of chaos started off with a blaring fire around 3 a.m., stretching over seven miles and calling in nearly 100 firemen. Firefighters were fighting flames and wind gusts. Shortly after, emergency crews were called for power outages across the county. It's been causing roofs and shingles and buildings and cars. And to top it off, a semi-truck on US 89 was blown over, blocking the main road. Browning schools decided early that the schools would be shut down for the day, allowing the middle school to be used as a shelter for those affected. Hi, and then we saw the pictures and the videos of the fire, and about 60 of our staff members, if not more, come from the east end of the reservation or Cup Inc. And so they wouldn't have any way to go except all the way around through Shelby. So that was another factor. And also there, the surrounding communities were without electricity. So we just used all of those together and decided to, for the safety of everybody, we would cancel school today. Even the football stadium is feeling the effects of the wind. The brand new facility had its roof unwillingly removed late Tuesday night. All right, thanks, Brianna.